Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Srimad Bhagavad Gita retold by Bhaskar Yogacharya. In the previous episode we learned about transcendental yoga. Now we shall begin with Adhyaya 5 Karma Sanyas Yoga. The fifth chapter of Bhagavad Gita is Karma Sanyas Yoga. In this chapter Shri Krishna compares the paths of renunciation in actions and the actions with detachment and explains that both are means to reach the same goal and we can choose either a wise person should perform his worldly duties without attachment to the fruits of his actions and they dedicate them to god this way they remain unaffected by sins and eventually attain liberation arjun said you praise o krishna the renunciation of actions and then praise karma yoga also tell me which certainly which of these is superior one leading to the ultimate good the lord said renunciation of actions and karma yoga both lead to the highest excellence but of the two karma yoga excels the renunciations of actions he who neither hates nor desires and in beyond the pairs of opposite is to be understood as an ever renouncer hence he is easily set free from bondage o arjun children not the learned speak of sankhya and yog as distinct he who is firmly set in one attains the fruit of both that state which is reached by the sankhyas the same is reached by the yogis the same state is attained also by those who are karma yogis he alone is wise who sees that the sankhya and the yoga are one and the same because of their having the same results but renunciation of mighty armed is hard to attain without following yoga the contemplating sage who follows yoga reaches the brahman the self or atma soon he who follows the yoga is pure in self who has subdued his self and has conquered his senses and whose self has become the self of all beings even while he is acting he is untainted the knower of the truth who is devoted to yoga should think i do not at all do anything even though he is seeing hearing touching smelling eating moving sleeping breathing speaking discharging grasping opening closing his eyes etc he should always bear in mind that the senses operate among sense objects he who acts without attachment reposing all actions on brahman prakriti is untouched by evil as a lotus leaf by water merely with the body the mind the intellect and the senses yogis do actions renouncing attachment for the purification of the self a yogi renouncing the fruits of his actions attains lasting peace but the unsteady man who is attached to the fruits of actions being impelled by desire is bound the embodied self mentally resigning all actions as belonging to the city of nine gates that is the body and becoming self controlled dwells happily neither himself acting nor causing the body to act the lord of the body the self that is the jeev does not create agency nor actions nor union with the fruits of action in relation to the world of selves it is only the inherent tendencies that function the all pervading one takes away neither the sin nor the merit of anyone 
knowledge is enveloped by ignorance creatures are very deluded but for those in whom this ignorance is destroyed by the knowledge of the self that knowledge in their case is supreme and shines like the sun those whose intellects pursue it the self whose minds think about it who undergo discipline for it and who hold it as their highest object have their impurities cleansed by knowledge and go whence there is no return the sages look with an ill eye on one endowed with learning and humility a brahman a cow an elephant a dog and a dog eater here itself sansar is overcome by those whose mind rest in earnestness for the brahman individual self when uncontaminated by prakriti is the same everywhere therefore they abide in brahman he who knows brahman individual self and abides in brahman whose mind is steadfastly on the self and undiluted by the body consciousness he neither rejoices at gaining what is pleasant nor grieves on obtaining what is unpleasant he whose mind is detached from external contact and finds happiness in the self he has his mind engaged in the contemplation of brahman and he enjoys undecaying bliss for those pleasures that are born of contact are wombs or pain they have a beginning and an end o arjun the wise do not rejoice in them he who is able even here before he is released from the body to bear the impulse generated by desire and wrath he is a yogi competent of self realization he is a happy man he whose joy is within pleasure is within and similarly light is within he is a yogi who having becoming the brahman attains the bliss of the brahman the sages who are free from the pairs of opposites whose minds are well subdued and who are devoted to the welfare of the beings become cleansed of all impurities and attain the bliss of brahman to those who are free from desire and wrath who are wont to exert themselves whose thought is controlled and who have cornered it the beatitude of the brahman is close at hand shutting off outward contacts fixing the gaze between the eyebrows elising in word and outward breaths moving in the nostrils the sage who has controlled his senses mind and intellect who is intent on release as his final goal freed forever from desire fear and wrath is indeed liberated forever knowing me as the enjoyer of all sacrifices and austerities as the supreme lord of all the worlds as a friend of every being he attains peace thank you so much for listening everyone if you like to listen to these and if you find it useful please share it with your friends and family and i'll see you in the other episode